What's going on my Gemini Legacies? Welcome to my channel for those that are new, for those that are returning my loyal Gemini Legacies. Thank you. Okay, always a pleasure to do your reading. At the bottom of the deck, we have the sun. Okay, as the sun is shining on me, no coincidence. Let's go ahead, let's do a timeless a general reading for September. Let's pull an angel message at the beginning and end of your reading, and then we'll go ahead and do a Celtic cross for your spread. I'll clarify and pull some advice if need be, Gemini. Okay, give me an angel spirit, give me an angel message for my Gemini legacies. Okay, this one dropped and it, she was looking at me. So I knew, and I was hearing, pick the traveler, pick the traveler. Gemini, move in a new direction, okay? I'm like, I hear you, spirit. Don't yell at me. Welcome, welcome any opportunities to travel, Gemini. Either to the outer world or to your inner worlds, okay? This could also include the spiritual realms, okay? Being invited to have one foot in, one foot out, like I do, right? As of right now, I'm more so embodying my light body to do your reading. The Traveler card represents the gypsy spirit within. The opportunity to move in a new direction is coming your way, Gemini, and your ancestral wisdom is encouraging you to welcome it with open arms. Going on a trip is an exciting process, Gemini, but not only do you learn about the world, you also learn about yourself. This card often comes up when you have a chance to go through a process of awakening and understand even more about the amazing qualities you have to share with the world. Often such journeys can be lonely, but this in itself can teach you that you are never really alone and your angels and ancestors are there for you. The road you are on may be the road less traveled, but this journey is going to be highly beneficial for your emotional and spiritual growth. If it isn't about covering outer distance, it's about covering distance within, and you will be evolving every single moment of it. Remember to keep things simple and to lighten, and to lighten your load because that will make your journey more enjoyable. You are also being encouraged to see how far you've come and how, really, and how you've really grown as a person, Gemini, because this recognition will support you in, ev in going even further. And there's a good chance that along the way, you'll make new friends who will become companions for a lifetime, okay? from reading that what i was also hearing in the background okay was in regard was in regard to ooh, was in regard to you know you leveling up in a sense okay it's almost like i'm hearing you might have had this hiccup recently there was some deviation within you, the road you were traveling okay what i'm also was what i was also hearing was you are capable of being a leader gemini not a follower okay you travel your own world your own road you march to the beat of your own drum set for a reason okay you are a leader not a follower is what i'm hearing gemini okay you've also had this recent situation gemini in which you might have had a slight setback but in your eyes your view of the situation is exactly that but the divine here is saying that nothing goes ungranted without recognition okay every setback every situation is a learning opportunity to learn from your mistakes 
and to, you know, learn from them so you don't repeat the same ones again, right? Let's go ahead and let's do a Celtic cross. I was also hearing choose your friends wisely, okay? Because it's almost like you had to change your friend network. And as a result, you've been feeling uncomfortable, okay? You've been feeling as a lone wolf at times. But the reality is, is that you're never alone because spirit is always here with you as it is here with me now for your reading, right? I was also picking up on some travel, some new opportunities, okay? Let's go ahead and cut the deck I'm hearing. Let's do a Celtic cross. Okay, so we have the Nine of Cups as your opposing force. We have the Queen of Pentacles. What is the root of the cause for Gemini? So we have the Seven of Cups. What is the past for Gemini? The Two of Pentacles. Okay, so we have the Eight of Cups with the King of Cups. Okay, in your future position, we have the Four of Cups with the Four of Swords. And as you, Gemini, we have the Knight of Wands. Okay, what are the external influences? I saw this coming. The Nine of Swords. Okay with the knight of swords as your hopes and fears we have the eight of wands with justice okay libra energy libra present within your reading again what is your final outcome gemini we have the eight of swords okay a lot of air signs Okay, you are an air sign, so no coincidence. But I was also picking up Libra energy here with the justice, okay? So within your reading, Gemini, we have the nine of cups, okay? There's been some opportunities. It's almost like doors were opening up. You were starting to see a more balanced state of mind, okay? A more balanced place. It's almost like your finances as a result here with the queen of pentacles. I'm seeing you being a shopper, a compulsive shopper, okay? You have a shopping addiction. You love to order things. You like to splurge, okay? Some of these things are unnecessary. And for what? Like, who are you trying to impress, okay? No one really cares, okay, what you spend your money on. They care on the person that you are and the type of friend or, you know, partner you're going you're choosing to be okay at the root of the cause we have the seven of cups so behind the scenes there's been a lot of rebellious behavior okay it's almost like you may have been drinking behind the scenes you were hiding it it came to light as of recently okay And you were going back and forth. I'm still seeing you going back and forth on this decision. You're beating yourself up, Gemini, for this mistake that you had in the past, okay? It's almost like for once in your life, you might have considered reaching out to spirit, to your higher power as for guidance to have some type of spiritual awakening, okay? It's almost like you're so within your emotions. It's I'm, I'm strongly picking up. You have high energies, high frequencies. You're reacting versus responding, okay? It's almost like you're very unbalanced, okay? You were balanced like a week ago, okay? Something happened, Gemini, where as a result, with the Four of Swords and the Four of Cups here in the future position, is you've been having, you had to take a step back, okay? You had to take a step back, do some more inner work, Okay, it's almost like you had to dig deeper, okay? Dig deeper to get to the root of the cause of why this rebellious behavior comes out, okay? You have this darker side, Gemini, where you embody it more at times because it's more comfortable. 
but in all reality you are you do have the power and the opportunity the potential gemini to be this fierce being that you really are at heart okay it's almost like you just need to unlock yourself because you've been shackled and handcuffed to a past behavior okay substance and or alcohol a person where you feel like as if you've been trapped okay but here with the knight of swords the the ability to release this is within your capability because you have it paired with the knight of swords okay you might have had a hiccup but you're going to be coming stronger than ever okay justice is going to be served on you okay i'm a libra so to see this for you is gratifying because i always like to see people come into a more balanced state of thought okay of being a lot of opportunities are opening up and a lot of your desires are coming to play okay it's almost like as your final outcome here with the eight of swords i see you walking into this final outcome blindly okay you're gonna be taken back a lot of things that you didn't see coming are about to unfold like love friendship okay um yeah a relationship even a strong friendship here with the two of cups you just have to be receptive to having it because you have this strong barrier built up where it's almost like you seek solitude as a as a as a like as a defense mechanism right What I was trying to say, what I was hearing was deflective. So I was like getting caught up because I was hearing deflective, but I wanted to say um, defense mechanism. Let's go ahead and clarify your final outcome. Spirit, please clarify the Eight of Swords for Gemini. Okay, so we have the Queen of Pentacles as clarification. And we also have the Queen of Swords, okay? So it's almost like you've been neglecting, deflecting, okay? You've been looking the other way. You've been keeping to yourself. You haven't been communicating as much as you usually would with your family members, okay? There's a female in your life, okay? This could be your mother, someone in your life a parent guardian a guardian okay someone who is a caretaker for you you depend on her okay i'm strongly picking up her feminine energy and it's almost like you're obsessed with being taken care of it's almost like to, you like to remain in the sick being the sick the sick way of thinking because you like to have your mother be the rescuer, okay? You like to play the victim. You like your mother to come and rescue you, okay? Is the reality, is what I'm hearing, okay? You you act out, okay, because you want attention on you. You want people to cater to your needs when in all reality, the divine is saying that you need to go ahead, own yourself, okay? Take responsibility for your actions, Gemini because there's a lot of snakes in the grass, okay? There's a lot of behavior. There's a lot of people that irritate you, okay? You have a very low tolerance for bullshit, okay, Gemini? And what I'm getting is you're tired of picking among the friends to see who really has your best interests at heart, okay? You're really in fear of neglect, of abandonment, of rejection, okay? Here with the moon, what are the secrets that you're keeping hidden okay because i'm strongly picking up what i'm hearing is there's some secrets that you are hiding okay from yourself and from the general public and it's almost like you're only as sick as your secrets gemini okay you're only as sick as your secrets and you've been keeping things hidden okay what needs to come to light when it's what do you need to be transparent and vulnerable about because that's what really takes courage and courageousness, okay? And this is where the divine is saying to move in a new direction, okay? Do something different because whatever you were doing was not working Gemini, okay?
Okay, let's go ahead and let's uh, clarify the two of pentacles because I want to know what's this decision you're going back and forth on. This is in your past, okay? Okay, so I, I briefed you that this was coming. Okay, it's almost like you were fond of someone. Okay, you may have been attracted to someone. Maybe you are still attracted to them as of right now, okay? With the two of cups. You seek some deeper connection with this person, but you're fearful of speaking out. You're fearful of speaking your truth because you are you have this fear of rejection, okay? The worst that could happen is this person says, I'm not interested, but I would love to be your friend, right? Let's let's get let's get to know each other better okay but it's like if you're not trying then you'll never know okay so we have the ten of pentacles with the ten of cups and the nine of cups okay there's a strong energy of family okay it's almost but i'm hearing like your father may not be in the picture or you don't have a like a real close relationship with him okay your family is your mother okay your family is the people you choose to have around because you choose them is what i'm hearing and there's a very few that can get this ecstatic glowy like energy this happier side of you gemini okay it's like you have this great personality that you keep locked up okay there's more things that you have in common with others, but you neglect to share them or be willing to open up to them, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups, okay? There's definitely some type of trio, okay? You may have two close friends, okay? It's almost like you keep your friend group small, okay? Let's clarify the Nine of Swords as your external influences. So as your external influences, we have stop, okay? Stop, take a step back. Okay, there's definitely third parties involved. It's almost like you have to report to two significant people in your life consistently as a result of you having this freedom, okay? You had this freedom, you let it go, you self-sabotaged it. We also have the King of Swords here, so strong air sign, masculine energy, again, Libra. Someone very intuitive, someone very psychic. They almost may be able to hear your thoughts, okay, your desires, but they keep them to themselves because they're waiting for you to share them. You're having trouble letting go of something in your past that was no longer serving you, yet you still feel like you have this attraction and connection magnetically to this substance and or thing when the divine here is asking for you to seek this more fiery side energy, Aries, Capricorn, Virgo, that you have locked up in with side, inside you because you are capable, but you also have like this fear of responsibility, Gemini, okay? That's going to conclude your reading. If you like the message, leave a comment down below, okay? Subscribe, hit that like button. When you guys do that, it really helps me tap into your guys' energy and provide effective, genuine, spiritual, humble readings like you just witnessed, okay? You're having this spiritual awakening, okay? It may have happened recently or it's about to happen, but whatever it is, the divine is backing you up because they're going to serve justice on your behalf, okay? which I love seeing always for people. I'm a Libra sign, so I feel like everyone deserves justice. Everyone deserves to be happy. I know it's pretty cliche and almost like unapologetically disgusting to hear, but the truth is, is that's- Is that a tarot card? Yeah, this is your higher purpose, yes. You read that? Yeah. For money or? Uh, I mean, I do general free reading. All right, Gemini, let's go ahead and pull one final angels and ancestors message for you guys, and that'll conclude your reading. Angels and ancestors, please give me the final message for Gemini. Final message for Gemini, please. One card. One card, please. Thank you. Okay, Spirit Fox. 
Okay, Gemini. So we have Spirit Fox. Trust your talents and in changing times. Okay. Let's go ahead and read from the book. Here we go. Okay, let's see. Spirit Fox. Okay, stay alert as change is in the air, Gemini. The spirit fox features my favorite animal of all time, the red fox. An amazing, resilient creature able to survive in urban environments or the freezing temperatures of the Arctic. Foxes know what it's like to be hunted for centuries. They have been sought for their precious fur when all they want to do is survive. So the spirit fox can help you overcome the energies of adversity and unfair treatment. Also, as urban foxes hide in cities and go about their business in the darker hours, the fox offers the medicine of blending in. All right, if the message resonated, leave a comment down below, like, subscribe. Don't forget to live out your best legacy, Gemini.